All right, so as you can see, we have the chicken drumsticks here. We have the potato medley. Just I like these small potatoes. They cook pretty quickly, and I just prefer them. I like the red and the purple potatoes. I have some onion here. I have some baby bella mushrooms, which are also my favorite. I have a green pepper, and the star of the recipe is this tikka masala simmer sauce. I picked this up from Aldi's. It is very good. Um, I, as I said, my family enjoys it. I don't really use it specifically how the instructions say, um, but you'll see how I do it. Again, this is an easy crock pot meal that I make for my family of four, and we all really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get this all into the crock pot. Okay, everything is set in the crock pot. I just want to show you guys that it's 245 because my last recipe I did, someone asked me how long I let it cook for, and I really don't know. So I'm going to make sure I pay attention to it this time. I just let it cook till the meat is done and everything else is, you know, nice and cooked through and tender like I like it. So 246, the crock pot is set to low, and I will be back to show you when it's all done. Alright guys, so it is exactly two hours later, and I just came over here and gave it a nice stir so everything is like all mixed up and together, and I am now thinking like, feeling that I want to turn it up on high, because, yeah, I started this a little late, I just started it earlier in the morning. Alright mama, so I'm going to turn it up to high, and we'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, so now it's 5.45. So over three hours later, as you can see, it's not cooking as fast as I need it to, especially for it to be for dinner tonight, which is my fault. I should have started it earlier. So I'm going to take everything out of here, put it in a pan, put it in the oven at about 425 and let that go for a minute. And then I'll come back and show you when that's all done. Again, totally my error because this is chicken with the bone in and not chicken breast, which I did it with last time and it cooked really fast. So I should have just started it earlier. So in order for us to have it tonight, I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, as you can see, I'm taking everything out of the crock pot, put it into this baking pan, and then I'm going to put it into the oven. It, right now I'm doing that at 549. So we'll see how long it takes to finish off in there. Again, my suggestion for the crock pot, which is how I usually do it, is to start it earlier. I started it at like 2.30. I waited too long and I started it at low temperature so yeah that's what happened with that it's still gonna be delicious it smells really good and I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the oven alright everyone as you can see everything is all done it looks and smells delicious this was in the oven I'd say for about 20-25 minutes at 425 so it finished it off really nicely. Hi. Hi, baby. It finished it off very nicely. And we have plenty, so we'll have leftovers, so that's always a good thing. And, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this simple, easy recipe. Like I said, if you want to do it in the crock pot how I started it, just start early on, especially if you're going to use chicken that has the bone in it. Because, of course, we know that that does take... Um, you know a longer amount of time other than that what other recipes would you have done with this sauce are there any goodies you pick up from all these that you use to like make special meals for your family just let me know so we can chat down below in the comments don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of my new videos and yeah i'll see you next time bye guys